Kentucky Field Gun Run. From the atmosphere back here, it's easy to... Here they come, marching to the tune of Hearts of Oak. Very much the highlight of the show, this event. Over the course of the tournament, each crew races seven times against each of the other crews, and an overall winner is decided on aggregate timing. A four-minute run was first recorded in 1948, but in 1962, that was slashed to three minutes. Uh, the record, by the way, is actually two minutes, 40.6, held by Portsmouth. It stood for 13 years. Will we see that broken tonight? You're about to see the fleet air arm. They're racing against Portsmouth, who haven't won a field gun competition for 10 years. As you can see by the concentration on their faces, they are well aware of that. Over to the starter. And away they go on the first leg of the run this evening. Now, once down at the Warwick Road end, they wheel everything around and everything goes over the home walls. That's men, guns, limbers. Neck and neck at this stage. Now, in the centre, the sheer legs are set up with 28 feet spars to help carry the first two men of each crew across the yawning gap of the chasm. 28 foot wide, they're followed by the 10 foot spars. You now see slotted securely into the ramps on what is known as the enemy side of the chasm. Up go the wires, on the wires the travellers, and on the travellers the men with the wheels. Each wheel weighs 120 pounds. And as you can see, Portsmouth just in the lead. Here come the gun carriages. Next, the great weight of the gun barrel. Now, the barrel's weight is in excess of 800 weight each. But you wouldn't think of it to, to look at these guys. The last piece of equipment to go across the chasm is the gun limber. And like everything else, the gun limbers weigh 345 pounds. They're manhandled across the arena. Portsmouth definitely in the lead here, through the holes in the enemy walls, and when everything is safely through and in position, each of the guns have to fire three rounds. So after ten years in the wilderness, are Portsmouth on their way to an overall win, we wonder? Well, they've certainly won that leg. And the fleet air arm just behind them. So the crews have completed the first stage, that's the run-out. Now everything has to be properly prepared before the second stage, the run back, begins. Trainers need to make sure that everything is all present and correct and that none of the very strict rules have been infringed. On to the second stage. Everything now goes over the enemy walls. And already the first two men of each crew have crossed the chasm. Sent the traveller back now to their comrades who are following behind. The first of them with the wheels. Then the gun limbers. <laughs> they make it look so easy. Now the first piece of the gun to go across the great weight of those gun barrels. Remember, 900 pounds apiece. They've got to hang between the sheet leg to await the arrival of the gun carriage. When the uh, carriage arrives, the wheels are slipped onto the axles. The barrel's lowered onto the gun and then taken away to a new firing position. The last men over are the Flying Angels, and they bring the ten-foot spars with them. And then it's a race for the line. Portsmouth definitely on form this tournament. That's another leg to them. And there's the fleet air arm. And they're three rounds. Part two over. <laughs> Strain is starting to show. It's all up to the fleet air arm to pull it back, but it is not going to be easy. Another pause whilst the course is checked and any penalties incurred are calculated. Look at those faces. To these men, this race is everything, and it's the final push. They take their guns and limbers through the holes in the home walls, and when everything is through, they hook up the gun to the limber and pull its massive weight home. Flat out for the finishing line. And it's Portsmouth. That's it. End of the race. There is little doubt as to who finished first, but don't forget that there could be penalty seconds added, which might swing the balance either way. 
I am exhausted just looking at this. I'll hand over to Basil in the arena for the official results as uh, I get my breath back. But for the moment, the running times are these. Fleet Air Arm, three minutes and 0.3 of a second. Portsmouth, two minutes, 45.3.